Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Athletics Alumni Center here on the University of Houston campus. Uh, before we, we begin today's event, I must make a couple of requests of you. First, please silence or turn off your cell phones if you have them with you at this moment. And due to time constraints, we will not be able to take any questions here at the podium following today's events. However, accredited members of the media are invited to the library here in the back room of the Great Hall of the Athletics Alumni Center for a question and answer session once we are finished here. At this time, it is my honor to introduce University of Houston System Chancellor, Dr. Renu Kator. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Cougar Nation, the land of the red. You see this trophy here? I am so proud of this. Let me, let me say congratulations to our fabulous basketball team. I know the players are here. Where are they? Congratulations to the coaching staff, Coach Penders. What a great season you gave us. Today we are starting a new chapter in basketball. Before I say anything, let me introduce to you our regents. Chairman Wilson was here a little while ago, but he had to go for another meeting. But our three regents are here to show support for our athletics. And I'd like for you to meet them, our vice chairman of the board, uh, Regent Jim Wise. And chairman of our student, uh, uh, I mean academic and student affairs committee, uh, Regent uh, Carol Ray. And the newest member on the Board of Regents, uh, our fabulous Regent Nandi Tavberi. So we are starting a new chapter in our basketball today. I'm very proud of this day. I want you to know all the references we did on Coach James Dickey, and we are here to welcome him today and his family. Every single one came out with just absolutely glowing, glowing recommendations and praise for his personal integrity and his professional competence. I want you to know that James Dickey took a losing team in his career at one point in time, a losing team, and took it to Sweet 16. His journey to Final Four was abruptly ended because of some unfortunate circumstances. So I know that there is an unfinished business that Coach Tiki has to complete. We are a university that has had a proud history here for athletics, for basketball. We are in a great city, a great location. We wanted all of the, these three factors to come together to really create for us that journey. So we are here very proudly supporting and looking for some great days and great times, winning season. Winning is very, very important. I want you to know, Coach Dickey, winning is very, very important. What is equally important to me and more important is for our student athletes to win in classroom. I want them to get the learning that they come here for and graduate. And I want them to win in life. And those were the combinations, those were the things that absolutely appealed to us. I know you can recruit, I know you can mentor them, and I know that you can make them win in classroom and outside of the classroom. So we have full confidence in you. I want you to know more about Coach Dickey, and I want you to know from the man who knows more about him. A few months back, I was here introducing our athletics director. And I told him at that time that the reason I've hired you is because I believe in your values and in your integrity. And I've absolutely, I totally stand here in support of his decision, as well as in full anticipation that we are going to have an absolutely phenomenal winning basketball team as well as our team of student athletes who are winning in life. So please learn more about our newest member of the Cougar family, Coach Dickey from Mac Rhodes. Welcome, Mac. We, we do apologize for, for keeping you waiting, but uh, 
we had a great meeting with our, with our current players uh, before we came on over here. And uh, again, to all of you, I'm not sure where you are here in the audience, but congratulations on a great year and making all of us proud. So. I do want to recognize and say hello to my wife, uh, Amy. Um, I haven't seen her in about 10 days. Uh, my, my parents here, Mac and Carmen Rhodes, are here. They uh, came to spend time with, uh, with our children here and, and my wife for, for the Easter break, and it's a good thing that they like my, my wife and my Amy and my tr children a lot better than me. So, um, But uh, thank you for being here on this special occasion, because it is. This is about taking the University of Houston's men's basketball program and move it forward. And that's a great task. That is an unbelievable task when you talk about the unreal tradition that we have here. We have two of the all-time NBA top 50 players that played here at the University of Houston. And so when we went, when we went, three, excuse me, when we went, when we went out and we looked for a coach, we took that into consideration and we took that seriously. Because we're going to build this program, we're going to build it step by step, and we're going to build it the right way. And when we started this journey nine to ten days ago, we wanted somebody, number one, that really valued this job, that really sought for what it was, that wanted to be here. As the chancellor spoken about, fire in your belly. Somebody that was going to do whatever it took, whatever it took, to get the job done. We've accomplished that. We've accomplished that. We wanted somebody with high character, high class and integrity because we will never compromise that. We will never compromise that. And we have a job. We've got to win games, no question about it. But equally important is to develop our young men and our young people. And we wanted somebody that was a great mentor, a great mentor that's going to hold our student athletes accountable that's going to be demanding, that's going to love them, that's going to be fair, that's going to make them better than they've ever been before. On the floor, because there's no better teacher in terms of player development than the man that we're bringing to the University of Houston, but equally important, off the floor. We accomplished that. We wanted somebody that was a partner we know our flaws, and we have some flaws. We wanted somebody that understood those and that was going to come in, roll up their sleeves, get in the trenches with us, and be a partner. And again, build this brick by brick, piece by piece. We've accomplished that. And finally, we wanted somebody that was a great coach that could win and win the right way, and win at a high level. And we talked to more people than I can tell you in the industry, in the coaching profession, about Coach Dickey's abilities. And here's what they told us. You'll never get out coached. Nobody will ever make your players any better than this man. And he's an unbelievable recruiter. You don't coach 25 NBA players without being an unbelievable recruiter. But most of all, I go back to we wanted, we wanted a leader of men. And we have that. And I want to welcome Coach Dickey. I want to welcome Betty, his wife, Lauren, his daughter, Jared, his son, to our family. It is with my great pleasure and pride that I announce your new head men's basketball coach, James Dickey.